On the walls of the cave, only the shadows are the truth. Plato, the allegory of the cave. And I quote Plato here with quite a bit of irony, in that when I first started out in the make money online niche on YouTube, my intentions were definitely good. After seeing a bit of success on my first YouTube channel, and watching some other channels that definitely inspired me in this niche, I took it upon myself to share unique and viable ways to make money online. But little did I know of the trap that I was gradually falling into. One, where A, I was no longer necessarily always serving my viewers' best interests, and B, the niche itself becoming a lot more negative and even deceitful compared to when it first began, in my opinion. And this is in large part due to how YouTube promotes its videos, and with a lot of people coming into this make money online niche, vying for the most clicks and views, and thus resorting to more and more clickbait and even scams in some cases. Although I do have to admit that there are some hidden gems out there as well. But the purpose of this video is to shed light on the current state of the make money online niche on YouTube, debunking many of the so-called make money online methods, many of which I've tried as well, that these YouTubers try to promote. Not to call anyone out specifically, especially since I had been making videos similar to these as well, although I would argue not nearly as extreme. And I've since also taken down most of those videos as well. But given my experience participating in this niche for about 3 years now, I believe I have quite a bit of insight regarding which make money methods actually do work, which don't, and specific conditions, details, and nuances regarding them. And not only that, but also how to discern a quality video in this niche from a bad one or scam with the goal that viewers will generally be more informed regarding whether one of these videos is worth their time. It's showtime! And with that, first of all, let's actually break down the general format of these make money online videos, and in some cases, how they're designed to be predatory. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se, it's... And for some basic context, each of these videos generally go through one specific make money online method. Which by the way isn't usually specified in the title and thumbnail, as their purpose is more to clickbait people to actually watch the video, right? Which is by the way how YouTube generally is as a platform and isn't necessarily something that's specific to this niche. But there are definitely things that are a lot more sketchy here. For example, for a lot of these make money online videos, first of all in the title and thumbnail, people will try to promise people and sort of bait people to watch with really inflated earnings potential numbers, right? In terms of the amount of money that people can earn and or how easy it is to earn that money. So people usually use that as a trick to make people interested in a video's thumbnail or title and then click into it. You naughty naughty, you teasing me! Then getting into the video proper itself, the introduction of the video will try its best to match what was promised in the title and thumbnail, right? To keep people sort of interested in the video, especially since towards the start of the YouTube video, that's the most important place to keep a user's retention. But in this specific niche, the way that it's done is again with really unrealistic amounts of money that one can earn from the method and or greatly underestimating the time and effort to actually make significant amounts of money Money through the method. And this in and of itself actually brought forth one of the core issues with this YouTube niche in that there aren't actually enough viable and good make money online methods for people to cover in their videos and so what people have done to be able to compete against each other in their YouTube videos is to essentially one up each other so to speak with higher and higher earnings numbers to ridiculous amounts and or again shorter amounts of time and effort needed to achieve these numbers to the point that a lot of these YouTube videos and channels in a bid to compete against each other have become actually a lot less truthful regarding what the facts actually are regarding these make money online methods. And thus, in a way, doing their viewers a disservice by providing oftentimes disingenuous and inaccurate information. And not only that, getting back into the structure of these YouTube videos, after the introduction, which again is filled with usually false and inflated promises, the body itself of the videos are generally just running through, usually with screen capture of whatever's on that person's PC screen or computer screen, of the make money online method, while deliberately not really getting to the point early on and sort of dragging out the video with their instructions to make people watch longer on YouTube and thus trying to make their videos have a longer watch time and thus be more favored by the YouTube algorithm. Now I do also have to acknowledge that there are in fact methods for making money online that do work. 
and they're definitely as such videos and channels that are uh, more factual and legitimate but as a result of the YouTube algorithm favoring clickbait a lot of the methods that you see that are promoted the most on YouTube are not even worth your time at all or are in fact legitimate but rather take a lot of time and energy before it can take off such as with setting up your own website your own YouTube channel a social media page etc and so generally if something seems too good to be true it generally is or there's some kind of catch and if you just think about it it makes sense that it's generally very difficult for these online methods to be able to match much less surpass working a real job or else people wouldn't be incentivized to even go and seek out a job and would just try to make money online right of course And while we're on that topic, here are some of the most commonly used and frequently recycled make money online methods that are covered in many of these videos. And so here I'm going to cover how viable these methods actually are and hint hint they generally are not. And yet many of these videos still get quite a lot of views despite not being necessarily truthful because there are a lot of things that appeal to people such as how easy it is the method actually seems and thus often misrepresenting how much money one can earn relative to how much effort they need to Actually put in. Now these methods themselves are not inherently bad, right? It's rather how they're being portrayed and advertised unrealistically and often as a generalization meaning that even if this method works for one person, it doesn't necessarily mean that it'll work for a lot of other people. And with that, the first commonly used trope and topic in make money online videos is affiliate marketing, which is by the way promoting other people's products such as even Amazon or eBay products and through an affiliate link which is a personalized link, if anybody goes through that link and purchases something, it'll actually earn the person who was promoting that link a commission. And the reason that affiliate marketing is such a popular topic among make money online YouTubers is that there are a lot of copy and paste type methods and seemingly extremely simple methods which again makes it seem like it's very easy to make money with it. What? And not only that but just a mere concept of affiliate marketing which means that one doesn't have to go and create their own product or post it anywhere or deal with inventory and still be able to earn money just by promoting links is on the surface a very appealing and easy prospect. For example, a lot of these videos will tell you that you can literally just copy and paste links from say websites that sell digital products like Clickbank and as an affiliate you can then earn commissions by promoting those links literally just by pasting and advertising them all over the place on say social media, on Facebook groups, YouTube videos and what have you. However, if you just use some common sense, getting somebody to purchase something through one of your links is actually extremely difficult, right? To get them to cross over the line to pay money is extremely difficult and unlikely unless you're able to deliver very very good and unique value and not only that but get enough traffic and eyeballs on your promotions and your links through insane sheer traffic which in and of itself is very difficult to build up for free and from scratch and the real reason that affiliate marketing actually works for certain content creators say youtubers for example and actually the reason that it exists is to latch onto the popularity of people who are already getting a lot of traffic and audiences that are willing to reciprocate the value that they're receiving and or the personality and entertainment that they're getting from any influencer, right? It's meant to be a way for companies to be able to advertise more cheaply and efficiently through the endorsement of these influencers or people who have actually spent a lot of effort building up a valuable resource for example like a website or a YouTube channel that actually also uses the products in question and can thus vouch for it and thus would actually deserve a cut for promoting it essentially. And sort of expanding upon this, another major problem of affiliate marketing in my opinion especially especially for digital products is that a lot of these products are actually designed not necessarily to be good products in and of themselves but with enough resources for people to be able to promote them such as sales videos and advertisements and banner ads and things like that that people can just copy and paste to their own website or their own ads that they might run which in and of itself again isn't necessarily like a negative or bad thing in fact Amazon does a lot of this and that they actually 
provide banner ads for you to copy and paste as well onto your website. But again, with some of these websites that are a lot sketchier than say Amazon, the products themselves are not necessarily good products, right? If you just think about it, there are a lot of these like fast weight loss products or like law of attraction, um, such as getting someone to fall in love with you immediately type products, right? A lot of these like snake oil type or too good to be true type products are featured on these affiliate marketing websites complete with lots of resources for people to go and promote them meaning that if one does try to promote say a bad or unethical product you're actually doing the customers who go and buy these products a disservice as well right because you're sort of doing false advertising and then making them waste their money and time on a poor product which just has fluffy and frankly in some cases false advertising designed to just bait them in and just try to get them clicks which is ironically similar to how a lot of videos are designed in this make money online niche as well and now another make money online method that I want to go over is specific types of YouTube videos and channels namely and most commonly so-called faceless YouTube channels and or copy and paste methods for it where one doesn't have to even show their face and oftentimes resorts to using b-roll and copyright free video clips which means that you can actually use those video clips that are not your own to create videos which according to many of these youtubers is all you need to start a successful and profitable YouTube channel which which by the way generally is not true and I'll get into why exactly that is. But first sort of dissecting the general structure of these types of videos and how they again sort of clickbait and mislead people is starting off a lot of these videos will go to a website called Social Blade or a similar website that shows the YouTube channel's subscriber counts, which by the way, oftentimes to be fair, are a lot, but these websites also happen to show the um, channel's revenue, but it's a very estimated amount which by the way is wildly, wildly inaccurate. And what's more is that even if the channel seems somewhat successful on Social Blade, it doesn't necessarily mean that these methods will work well, right? Again, it could just be a rare, uh, for example, first to market type of YouTube channel that has done well. And a lot of people and channels that have tried to imitate it have thus not done well, right? There could just be a very few number of channels that actually succeeded, for example, because they started very early. And another very important thing of note is that so-called faceless YouTube channels have generally been on the downtrend versus the platform actually now favoring more actual people talking and personalities attached to each channel. For instance, how many faceless channels do you actually watch on a regular basis? I personally don't watch any if at all except for perhaps like some music channels and so this type of video can also be very misleading in that the way that this method is advertised is that it's super easy to sometimes just copy and paste other people's video clips to make your own successful YouTube channel and then monetize it right and then all without showing your face which obviously appeals to a lot of people who might be more shy don't have a good camera etc or don't want to like create their own videos or record their own videos and the main issue with this method specifically the ones that involve copy and pasting or like downloading other people's royalty free video clips is that channels that are based solely that are just reposting content cannot be monetized on YouTube. There are so many channels and I'm really angry about this actually and I've been talking about this in some of my videos too but it's that they claim that they use a different part of the YouTube policy saying that it's okay to use royalty free content in monetized videos without getting demonetized and they twist it essentially to say that oh you can sort of base your YouTube channel on this type of content and still get monetized which is not the same thing. For example, I can use royalty free music as I'm doing right now as the background music of my videos but it's not what my videos are about right? Here I'm talking about stuff, I'm producing my own content uh, and I do use like royalty free stuff as part of my video or small part of my video and so videos and channels like that are generally monetizable in that you're still producing your own unique content right and are adding your own unique value whereas channels that are based on like other people's work completely or nearly completely are almost always not monetizable and this is also clearly stated on YouTube's policies which is a separate page from what the other page that people are quoting about 
using royalty free stuff in already monetized videos. And just imagine the innocent viewer who just isn't aware of these rules and tries to follow the procedure outlined by these videos, creating, you know, YouTube videos out of like royalty free clips or to make like meditation music videos or whatever, and then thus wasting their time essentially and effort to do this or God forbid even create multiple videos and try to grow a channel later to find out and perhaps be devastated that they can't actually monetize these types of channels through YouTube ads. And these are just a couple of ways how viewers can get misled and sometimes even exploited by some of these make money online videos and channels. But it certainly doesn't help that this niche on YouTube has sort of devolved into something where people also can't really help it, right? Like for example, if somebody's livelihood depends on their channel and the niche has become to a point where people sort of have to one-up each other with these more outrageous methods and clickbait each other in order to get more views, then there's more of a systemic problem. And regardless, I still think it's extremely important that viewers are at least aware of what is more realistic and what to look out for when searching for or coming across these types of videos and channels. But if perhaps enough people are made aware of this and change their viewing habits and favor different types of content on YouTube, which I personally don't think it's too likely, and if this also happens to make it so that advertisers are less willing to advertise on these types of less factual videos, so to speak, then there could be a larger and more positive change to the niche and maybe even YouTube as a whole. And that is pretty much all I want to share for today, which was actually a lot to get off my chest, especially considering I have been involved in this niche as well. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.